Shay, Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please tell Master Gist to join me there. Did you hear, dearie? They are hanging a man in the old fort. Oh, it would be a shame to miss that. <laughs> Christopher Guest, I'm Shay Cormac. Charm. But what are you doing here? Don't mind me asking. The Colonel sent me. Show Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look, the bird is nested right over there. The Morgan. What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. Keep your 
wits about you, Shay. Criminals are everywhere, and most of them look just like law-abiding citizens. And they've been harassing the people who've nursed me back to health. Sounds like good folks. They are. Perhaps you know them. Barry and Cassidy Finnegan. I've never met them, but I knew their son. Careful now. These ruffians can be anywhere. You can draw them out by making noise. Oh, I've got something better than that. Well, you seem to be more than capable of taking care of this matter. <clears throat> Tell you what, I shall find a new crew for your vessel, in case you have to leave post-haste.
Now you see me. Now you die. Ah! I got you, boss. I don't want to know how this story unfolds. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. Well, come aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. Splendid! A trip to this gale's got teeth, Captain. Loose on. Let's move. The Colonel waits on Albany. I wonder what he has in mind for us to do next. Us? I thought you just wanted to check in with Monroe. Not sign me up for the army. Loose topsails, gallant! Not at all, Shay. But I admire the Colonel's ideals and want to make them happen. What kind of ideals? Secure borders, prosperous farms, fair trade. We need those in these wretched colonies. Sounds like a high-minded utopia. It rather does. Want to help make it happen? Colonel Monroe is an intriguing man. And he certainly seems honorable. We'll head for Albany. After that, I'll see. Split. Full sail ahead, lads! Paul in the stunts! We're heading hard, fall down and clue on. In 
good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. Tis a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby, I happen to know. I like the sound of that. What sort of business are the French up to there? Just occupying the territory? It is an economic incursion more than a geographical one. Some of the ruffians are sponsored by enemies of the colonies. They intend to undermine local Clip authorities. Ahead, sir. I've heard they steal from civilians and resell essential goods for ten times the price. It's always the little fella who gets skinned. Colonel, you and Gist here seem inspired. Is there something in the water? Or in the whiskey? Now why do you say that, woman? I think Shane here is skeptical about our intentions towards our fellow man. I understand, but there is no need. I simply want these colonies to be a place of safety, development, and purpose. Funny. I thought rich men wanted them to be a place of profit. I am not a rich man, Master Cormac. Money is a means to an end. Not an end in and of itself. Says you. I think it's a fine end to a game of cards. Let the anchor go! commence à se croire tout Double les pattes. Ah! 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 
Allez, ne vous laissez pas distancer C'est mon char Oh Oh Mais je n'ai rien fait Donc je me suis vraiment. Attends. C'était quoi Good show, Shay. Now let's use those materials to give the Morrigan more firepower. We will need more power. Splendid! That fort and the defenders will tremble before the Morrigan! <laughs> Captain has the head! Your ship is in fine form, Master Cormac. That fort should offer little resistance. I rather hope the frogs offer some, else this will be a dull day. Never wish for battle, Master Hist. There is plenty around here for any of our lifetimes. Besides, if we find the fort's commander, the French will surrender, no? Indeed, that is a sensible strategy. We will have to wear down the fort's defenses first. Otherwise, they will just dig in like a wounded bear. There's our target, Shay! Knock her down like a game of nine pins! I begin by hitting her towers. As the Colonel says!
and the maid sells it to the wind. Let's catch the wind! Tops, gallants, royal studs. Loose sails, let's catch the wind! Short and safe, get off the Superb. squad. Now find the fort commander. Chasseur. Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. Don't make me do this, Le Chasseur. Do what? Assassinate me? I thought that was your specialty. We could both just leave. Ah, but then I would tell your brothers that you are alive. You have to kill me, Shay. Not on my watch, Toad. I'll catch you. I promise you that. Don't get your hopes up. I'll keep up with you. Yeah. <sighs> I can do this all day, you know. Seeing is futile. You're on. You are always good at your business, Shay. As were you. Tell me, what are you doing in land? Special weapons, poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. And may your final delivery be swift.
The Chasseur was right. I... I had no other choice. If the assassins find out I'm alive, they'll come after me. While you were busy taking down that fort, I happened to stumble upon the treasury. You don't say. It Colonel, thanks and congratulate. The Colonel thanks and congratulates you, Shay. He has returned to New York. But you look troubled. Do... Do you ever wonder if you're doing the right thing, Guest? If you chose the right path. Uh, I used to, my young friend, but not anymore. Not since I met the Kirk. What's the question? The French are entrenched in our territory. It's about time we... ...anymore. Not since I met the Kirk. What's the question? The French are entrenched in our territory. It's about time. 